Hello everyone, good morning. I'm Steve from UCAN English Tutoring. In this video, I'm going to assess a B grade OET role play conversation and provide the word by word feedback along with the feedback against each criteria and finally the overall score for this role play. If you find this video helpful, please like it and share it with your uh, friends, colleagues, uh, family members, WhatsApp groups and Telegram groups. If you wish to leave your comments, please do so um, because it's going to help me out to increase the quality of my videos. In this role play assessment video, I would like to request the student to identify the mistakes in you know, a wherever I stop the role play so that uh, she can realize the mistakes and she can reduce them in the future role plays. So let's start the assessment now. Hi, good evening. Good evening. My name is Anju. I'm one of the registered nurses working in the clinic. Mm -hmm. May I know your name? My name is Elizabeth. Hi, Elizabeth. How may I help you? Uh, nurse, I'm here with my seven-year-old daughter and uh, she is frequently having sore throats. So uh, I would like to have a sore swab from the throat to be taken. As my friend told me that uh, it's uh, really important. And I don't have any idea about that. Uh, okay, Elizabeth, uh, that is absolutely right. Uh, what is the name of her, name of your daughter? Okay, what is the <clears throat> name of her? And then what is the name of your doctor? Daughter, isn't it? So, what do you understand mm -hmm. from this? What you have committed? Uh, like false start. Yes. Okay. So that's not good, right? So, what is the name of her? The other issue is that this is not a grammatically complete question as well. Okay, this is wrong. What is the name of her? It's like, what is her name? That's it. <clears throat> her, and then you said your daughter. All right. So what we should have done is, what is her name? That's it. Very simple. Or may know her name. Okay. So we can use even politely. Okay, may know her name. Or you can you can also tell me, could you please tell me her name? That is also fine. So you can ask in a num in a number of ways. Okay, could you please could you please tell her name? Right, but the introduction is amazing so far. You know, the introduction part is great, uh, except to this issue. All right. Let's continue now. She's Mihira. Uh, okay, Elizabeth, uh, did she ever have a swab taken before? Uh, no. Uh, okay, uh, Elizabeth, firstly, I will explain you about uh, the process of uh, throat swab. Mm -hmm. uh, after that, I will uh, describe you about the lab analysis. Okay. Uh, lastly, if you have any concerns, you can uh, ask me. Sure. Yeah, perfect. This is much better Okay, than you used to do. But there is one mistake, you know, <clears throat> in these three sentences. Can you identify what it is? Uh, I will explain to you. Exactly. Wow, you made it. I'm very happy with that. So <clears throat> you said, firstly, I will explain you, okay, something, all right? Mm -hmm. But it should be, I will explain to you, yes. Mm -hmm. Or I will explain something to you. So always explain needs to either after that immediately or you say something, I will explain the whole procedure to you, okay, after that, okay? But we have to use explain to. Explain always goes with the to. Explain something to someone, all right? <clears throat> Is that clear with you? Mm, yes. Sir. Good, uh, but this time, you know, you were able to improve your connectivity dramatically. I'm very happy with that. The way that you have been using the connecting phrases is perfectly fine, okay? Let's continue now. Uh, uh, is that okay for you? Yes, sir. Okay, uh, this uh, throat swab uh, will be taken uh, using a cotton wool bud. Mm -hmm. uh, it will be a very quick process and she may feel a slight discomfort. Mm -hmm. And uh, there is a minor risk, uh, risk for uh, gag reflex. Uh, other than that, uh, there, are, mm, there are no problems um, with this. Okay, what do you notice in this last sentence? Uh, like I repeated the there are yes there are yeah. yeah there are so you said there are and then there are twice right so when you start just finish it okay do not commit any false starts please okay false starts 
need to be avoided, okay? Or reduced as much as possible, all right? Okay, let's continue the next one now. Uh, throat swab. Okay. Okay. Uh, you can be with your child during the procedure mm -hmm. so that she will be more comfortable. Okay, okay. Okay. Am I clear to you? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Perfect. You know, the way you are encouraging the patient, you know, to take care of her daughter is amazing. Okay. So you were able to establish good rapport with the patient using polite and appropriate sympathy, sympathetic phrases. So I'm very happy with the way that you have been dealing with this. Okay, it's really good. It's amazing, all right? Let's continue now. Okay, uh, once the swab is taken, uh, the swab will be uh, sent to the lab and it will be tested during uh, uh, using chemicals. What mistake did you commit? Yeah, the word instead yes. of using it. And... You said using and then mm -hmm. using. Okay. So mm -hmm. please be mindful about this one. Using is the correct one, mm -hmm. but not using. Okay. Mm -hmm. right, I was about on. like during and then. Uh... Ah, okay. And then you said <laughs> something else. Okay. Is that during? Yeah. I heard it like. No, no, no. Mm. Yeah, no, no. Uh, like um, the using and during. <laughs> during ah. this. Doing the role play. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, let's continue. And culture will be done in the lab. Mm -hmm. With that, we can find out the type of infection uh, and the bacteria which is causing the infection. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, is that uh, clear to you? Yes, nurse, but I'm really surprised because taking a little bit of throat tissue can show what's going on with my daughter's throat. Um, it's really surprising because I, I didn't know about that. Okay, Elizabeth, I understand that, but uh, this is how we are uh, finding out the bacteria mm -hmm. uh, from uh, the, the swab. Okay. What mistake did you commit now? <coughs> the the understood. Mm. Yeah, from the, the swab. Right. Again, false start. <clears throat> you should use, you know, the once only, okay, from the swab. Okay, don't say the, the twice, okay, from the swab. That's it. All right. Let's continue the next one. Okay. Uh, did she use mouthwash before coming here? No. Okay, that's good because um, if she use a mouthwash before the swab, uh, it may affect the result. We may see. Okay, you have committed one mistake in relation to something. Do you know what it is? Uh... What mistake is this? Because it is in the past tense. Now, have oh, you got okay. a clue? What she, what, what you should have done? Before she, she used, came. No, no, no. It's okay. Before she comes here, that's all right. Oh. Uh, but it should be she used if she uh, used if she mouthwash. Used, uh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, you can also use, you know, it's a mouthwash before she comes. Yeah, it's okay before she comes. You know, that's all right. Okay. She used, so it's it's going to be the past verb, all right? That's going to be the more appropriate one, okay? Using the verbs in the right tenses is a critical thing under grammar, all right? You can't deny that, okay? If you commit many issues in relation to the use of um, appropriate tenses, that's going to damage your score. But it's not so far uh, frequent, so I'm happy with that. Let's continue now some uh, negative uh, result false negative result because uh, the mouthwash you said some negative results and then false negative results false negative results <laughs> yep uh, the the results may not be accurate you can say like that okay. or the results may be inaccurate some negative results false negative results okay so 
False starts need to be avoided, please. Is it clear with you? Okay, let's continue the next one. Um, may kill the bacteria. Okay. okay. Uh, so uh, don't worry. I will uh, take care uh, for the swab. Once the result is... So there is one issue. Do you understand what it is? Uh, no, sir. <clears throat> that is in relation to take care. Okay. Take care. Okay. I'm just writing down here. So this this particular, you know, this particular phrase contains a, you know, problem. So contains an issue. Do you know what it is? Where do we use? Uh, uh, no, what I, do we use after care? No, no. I I said take care. Not take care. Oh, take care for the swab. Oh, okay. Did you uh, say take care? Yeah, yeah. Then that's yeah. all right. Then that's all. I thought that take care uh, of. Uh, swab. No, okay. no, no. I'll yeah, take okay. care that's for right. the swab. Oh. That's all right. Okay, good. Good. I'm happy with that. It's out. The doctor will explain you about the diagnosis. Then mm -hmm. again, the doctor will explain. Okay. Explain, explain you. Okay. So that's wrong. Ex will explain to you. The diagnosis okay all right let's continue now okay uh, it will take two days uh, for the result uh, and after the result is out doctor will uh, decide about the treatment okay, okay. Uh, do you have any other concerns yes nurse but uh, what will happen if uh, the throat swab shows any positive results or if there is anything serious What's the next step? Okay, Elizabeth, I understand your question, uh, but it should be explained by the doctor. Well, in this case, there could be a better way of showing um, sympathy. So you said, I will understand your question, isn't it? Uh, okay. I understand your question. Like, not yes. Me. No, 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 no. I, I will. Yeah, that's one issue, but there is another issue. There is uh, another issue. What do you need to? Uh, what did she ask you? You know, she asked something regarding a concern, isn't it? So you, what we should have done. Uh, I understand your concern, isn't it? Remember that okay. if you use the phrases according to the situation, for example, if she tells mm -hmm. something, you know, that that actually shows her anxiety or, you know, worry and so on, it's better to use, you know, mm -hmm. I understand your concern. I can definitely imagine how concerned you are. So something like that, you know. Do you understand? So mm -hmm. it's better to use those kinds of uh, phrases instead of saying, I will understand your question. Okay. Is it clear with you? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. Let's continue now. So it's a recommendation actually. Um, uh, I'm not the authorized person to explain you about the result. So uh... there is one word which is mispronounced. Can you guess what it is? Authorized. Yeah, authorized. Tha, tha. You should say authorized. Yeah, authorized. I'm not the authorized person. Okay, so what you have mispronounced was you have mispronounced as authorized person. Instead of saying like this, used this one like this. So this is not good. Uh -huh. It's not authorized, but authorized. Okay. Authorized. Tha, tha, author. Okay. Tha. You have to put you know more stress on the per and so on yeah that's uh, i'm not actually pointing out anyone specifically but uh, yeah i mean it's my uh, i'm just trying to help you out anyway um, you know i'm not uh, you know a racist or so on i try to help everyone uh, but what i have noticed uh, you know among malayalis is that sometimes they don't use you know the and then per properly for example they say completely instead of saying completely and then instead of saying right. Im important they say important okay I mean, I'm not criticizing. I'm, I just try to help you guys out. Okay, I'm not uh, racist against any. Uh, sir, uh, yeah, in my previous role play, there was problem with this uh, completely mm. complication. That's, that's correct. Yeah, complications, yeah. completely mm -hmm. complications. You know, those kinds of words, important. So you need to pronounce mm -hmm. them properly. Authorized. Yeah, these are some of the phrases. Okay, that need to uh, get more stress. Okay, they, you can't say simply you know authorized. It's like authorized. Tha. You have to say tha authorized i'm not the authorized person okay it will completely go off this is how you need to say 
so um if you if you are unable to you know improve your pronunciation on these words please try to use alternate synonyms that is one of the best ways to deal with uh, your mispronunciation all right if you feel like authorized is not the one so you can say i'm not the right person to do that that's okay good you go for it or i'm not the uh, correct person to do that okay i'm not the one who is able to do this okay so you do these kinds of things okay or it is not under my scope unfortunately it's not under my my scope so you can use all those things okay or there okay. is someone who can uh, you know do this for you so use these kinds of phrases or the, the doctor will come and uh, he will decide you i mean he will decide the things okay all right uh, okay. but this role play has been performed very well so far it has been much better than what you used to do in the past okay let's continue uh, it will take two days after that the doctor will explain you uh, about the result and he will decide the treatment for it uh, again will explain you isn't it explain something to you explain the process to you okay for example or explain to you okay. the process okay let's continue the next one uh, okay. and i will give you an appointment uh, after two days okay nurse okay uh, do you have any other uh, anything else to ask me no nurse you have uh, committed a mistake here do you remember what you have committed Uh, sir, um, any other than after that anything else yes that's correct yeah so do you have any other concerns any other questions just finish it you don't need to say anything else after that isn't it mm -hmm. yeah it's better to use um you know the words properly and finish one sentence fully let's you speak only the complete sentences rather than um you know the incomplete ones and then go back and then start from the beginning or from a particular phrase once again you just use uh, their synonyms and so on that's not good so do you have any other questions that's it finished or you can say would you like to ask anything else would you like to ask anything else okay all right but it's not that bad you know it's okay i'm so far happy it's not that bad all right let's continue now okay can i get the consent for uh, the throat swab sure okay so now i will uh, take her to the procedure room mm -hmm. for taking the swab uh, it will take only 5 minutes okay. uh, you can be with her during the procedure okay. uh, so once the swab is taken you can go back home and you can come back after 2 days for the appointment sure definitely. okay am i clear to you yes nurse okay perfect yeah so the explanation is amazing so the way you are explaining the information so you are able to share the information appropriately so i'm very happy with the way that you have been doing okay in a polite manner which is one of the critical assessment parameters as far as the assessment of oet role play is concerned you have been doing a wonderful job uh, anju that's really good all right and then you are also able to ask the questions to the patient appropriately so that is also good enough okay let's continue now do you have anything else to ask no i'm okay um, uh, you explain me everything in detail I, that's great okay elisa but you can uh, give her salt water to gargle it will help to prevent the throat pain okay, okay. Uh, thank you thank you nurse okay so far this is the best role play you have done and um, yeah it's not that bad let's go through the mistakes first so um, the the second mistake is uh, somewhat not good because it's not a good one it contains the false starts And third one is an issue with the prepositions fourth one is the false start and then sixth one is an issue with the vocabulary and seventh one is a false start as well um eighth one is an issue with the verb all right and then the ninth one is a false start 10 is an issue with the preposition and then 11 is a, is not the appropriate word uh, 12 is an issue with the pronunciation 
13 is an issue with the preposition and 14 is an issue with the false start so you have been committing at least you know five to six false starts um, but the background noises were minimized dramatically i'm very happy with that indeed your false start has also been um, decreased okay so i'm very happy with the way that you have been progressing so grammar could have been little bit better Connectivity is all right. It's uh, it's improving a lot. I'm happy with that. Vocabulary is okay as well. It's not that bad, but try to avoid the false starts, okay? Pronunciation is still an issue, but you have improved a lot, okay? It is still an issue. Okay. However, some improvements have been noted. I'm happy with that. All right, so that's a good thing. Uh, what else? Um, your speech rate is amazing. So speech rate is amazing. You are able to, you know, work um, as a registered nurse throughout the role play, and you were able to tackle the situation you know, appropriately. I'm very happy with that. Okay. So looking at all these things, I'm very happy to give you 350 out of 500 for this role play. Well done. You have done a wonderful job. And I'm pretty confident that if you perform the same way, you should be able to get uh, at least 350 out of 500 in your OET real examination as well. Are you happy with my okay. assessment? Yes, sir. Uh, actually, this mistake, uh, I think I explained to uh, I, uh, you already told me this mistake, but yes. uh, I know that but when I start the role play, I... <laughs> mm. Mm. So the good thing is background noises uh, have been overcome to some extent. That's a good thing. Um, but you have been committing some false starts. Yeah, that could have been overcome as well. That could have been reduced. At least you are committing like six to seven instances uh, in which you are repeating the words unnecessarily. Apart from that, it has been a wonderful role play. I'm very happy with that. And you have overcome most of the parameters and your clinical communication skills are amazing. And that actually saves you uh, from uh, falling behind the P grade. Okay, so you are able to get at least 350 out of 500 because of the clinical communication skills that you have demonstrated throughout the role play. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Have a good day.